Shout out to all the inner lights out there. It's your brother Judas, aka Sag and Blue. You're now tuned to Signs and Numbers. Please subscribe, like the page, and share it for this. Hope all you guys are doing your best out there, being your best out there, definitely. So we're going to continue this series, and we're going to talk about Aries born on April 7th. And know if you guys being Aries fire sign cardinal, you're naturally compatible with other fire signs, which are Sagittarius and Leos, and also air signs, which are Gemini's, Aquarius, and Libras. And Libras are your polar opposite. So it's not uncommon for Aries and Libra to bump heads within one lifetime. Also as well, you're going to realize as well, because you're born on the 7th of April, certain water signs are drawn towards your frequency. And you realize you may click well with Scorpios, but also Pisces, definitely, you may see that a, a Pisces does play a role in your life in some shape or form. It could be a relative, a best friend, but you realize that you have some type of relationship with, with them where you draw them or they're drawn to your vibration. You see what I'm saying? But also you'll see that you click well, although I already said fire, fire goes well, but Sagittarius is another sign that you may have great admiration for as somebody born on April 7th. You also realize with you being born on April 7th, you'll see with the seven vibration, it shows that you click well with those that have one vibrations and also those that have four vibrations. So this means like you could, it's not uncommon for you to know somebody that might be born like on the first of the month or the fourth of the month, especially if you've been born the seventh. But also this could mean like somebody might be born the tenth of the month, that's a one vibration, the nineteenth of the month. Or somebody born like on the 13th of the month, you know, one plus three is four. Or somebody born the 31st of the month. Or you may know somebody born the 16th of the month or the 25th of the month. You see what I'm saying? And this also means for you as well, you may click well somebody that might have the life path one, four, or seven because you're born on the 7th of April. So this is just something to be mindful of as an Aries born on the 7th. And you'll also see as well that you may realize that because you're born on the seventh and the one to four, also fourth in that same physical plane, the one four seven vibration, you may realize that you may click well with certain people born on the fourteenth because the fourteen energy had the one to four right there that completes that cipher because you're born on the seventh. So this something to be uh, mindful of. So that's something to just be on my yeah, something mindful of. But um, that's something to see and you'll see as well. That's what I was trying to gather my thoughts, but I got it. Um, be mindful that because you're born on the 4 7, if you're born like in the 1900s, imagine the TikTok in the 1900s, <laughs> the girl came and like, yo, respectfully, if you're born in the 1900s, we don't want to hear nothing from y'all. But, um, but I mean by that, like, say if you're born like 1960, um, 1970, 1980, 1990, right? You'll see like that one vibration also complements the fact that you're born the 4 7. You see what I'm saying? So there's a one four seven completion of cipher right there. So this shows a lot of people that are born with the, on April 7th for 19 something. This shows that within one lifetime, if you were able to harness your talents, your gifts within this lifetime, it shows that you were probably really successful, you know what I'm saying, amongst your peers. And even shows that you may even inherit something from like somebody in your family, or it could even show that you'll have some type of stability within this material realm where you have some type of success. So I'm not saying everybody with this 147 have, but a lot of the times, you know, people that have this 147 in their dynamic, it shows great success. You see what I'm saying? And I see that with like um, Nas has a 147, David Blaine, um, Dave Chappelle, you know what I'm saying? They have 147. So I noticed that they usually have the success um, or they're already like um, groomed from young to be able to adapt their energy into their talents and still be taken care of in the background and that should just have the confidence and gain the abundance that they need because they had that confidence. So a lot of people with that 147 vibration kind of had this gift of finish. So that's just something to just be mindful of. And this also goes, you know, if you're born 2001, you know what I'm saying, or 2011. So this is just something to be mindful of, the 147 vibration, that frequency of completion. So yeah, <laughs> probably something new, probably never heard of, but that's just one thing. Also as well on a spiritual level, you click well if you are ever to encounter somebody born on the 15th of the month, that's a powerful connection with your vibration. Somebody born the 12th of the month, somebody born the 26th of the month, or even the second of the month. Sometimes these connections are rare, but you'll realize within one lifetime, if you do meet with them, something profound could happen and they'll add to your growth. 
And with those born with the 147 vibration, you'll see with those birthdays, it's not going to be um, rare for you to meet people that have these frequencies because this brings a lot of harmony within your life and little to no chaos. You see what I'm saying? So you can move with a certain abundance and flow. So you'll realize, you know, if you're in school, a lot of your classmates may have one of those dynamics within their vibration. Somebody might be on the 10th for the month, somebody at 28th. You know, somebody born the 22nd, you know what I'm saying? Like have these vibrations to click off your vibration or just also go in the corporation or if you play for a team, you know, your, your teammates, you know what I'm saying? They might have that frequency where they complement you in the sign that I'm at, dynamic and the number dynamic. You see what I'm saying? So there's things to be mindful of, but on a spiritual level, you know what I'm saying? If you meet somebody born on like the 12th, like I was saying, the 15th, 26th or 2nd, this could be a very powerful connection where it feels very wholesome. And there's a deeper purpose behind it. So this is something just to be mindful of with you being born on April 7th. Um, with your dynamic, um, you'll see you're the kind of Aries, you know, as, 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 although you have this abundance about you and your know, life at a party, happy, good luck, and very free spirited as well. You'll see that there's a lot of moments and times where you like to be to yourself. You see what I'm saying? You're not the kind of person that always likes to be not going to say you don't like to be out and about because like Aries just like to have an adventure, you know what I'm saying? Take a challenge and just go out with your friends and be like that life of the party. But there are definitely moments where you like isolation, being to yourself. You don't mind that, you see what I'm saying? This is a time where you feel like you gain that internal growth to know exactly who you are so you can make the right decisions when you do step into outside into the world, you see what I'm saying? You're the kind of person that's going to ask questions. You know, sometimes areas could fall into the dynamic of probably like liking somebody rather quickly, but then getting bored rather quickly. But sometimes if you've been born that seven energy, you're gonna kind of scope the scene a little bit. You might like find some type of excitement in the beginning, but eventually over time, the maturity of any will settle and the dust will settle and stuff like that. And you'll be able to like gather enough information or use your intuition to make an assessment of how a particular individual is, you know what I'm saying, how you move. But for the most part, you know, you're the kind of person that could be a great friend, this and that, and a third, but you don't necessarily need to be that team player. You know, you could do things by yourself, and this is when you work, are at your best, you see what I'm saying? Probably working on a particular skill that's special to you, that's different from other people amongst your peers, that could be a useful asset, you know, that people could benefit from. But you'll realize that you kind of, the kind of person that will go a little deeper with it, you see what I'm saying? And if not, then you could be like a playful person to like be that team player. If you don't, if you're not so serious about your own life and you don't take certain things, you know, about a horn, whatever, you'll realize this is where you kind of fall back into your playful mode. You know, certain things that in this particular moment may not reach that level of success that you're looking for, but you'll be that team player, very caring, using your intuition, healing other people around you. So you have those two dynamics. So I just want to be mindful of. Um, you do have to be careful within your life as somebody born on the 7th of April for things to not just go left out of nowhere, you know, not to be egotistical because the ego is something that's hidden within you that could get the best of you. And if you say certain things in certain moments, things can go left out of nowhere and almost feel like a reset. And you're ready to type of, type of person that could work really hard and you already feel when you work hard towards certain things, the rewards aren't really worth are not like adding up to the amount of work you put in, you see what I'm saying? So like, if you edge that or, you know, disturb that freaking some more, you know what I'm saying, just not let it be, it could get even worse, you see what I'm saying? So sometimes you just gotta just appreciate things for what it really is. So that's like something that's more hidden, you see what I'm saying? So those are just things to be mindful of, you know? But um, you definitely come to life when you're abundant, um, when you're generous, um, you're a part of the family, part of your friends, and you're just sharing that joy. That's definitely when you come to life. Maybe in the beginning, that's something that you've had to like, kind of like step into, like ridding yourself from that shyness because you're already a person who likes to keep isolated. But you realize when you do step into that comfort zone and become the life of the party, this is when you get the best version of yourself and you can put it all together. So these are some things to be mindful of. So I'm gonna keep it there for now. Um, well, I'll give you a quick forecast. For 2024, as an Aries born on the 7th, be mindful to like be on your P's and Q's and watch where you go, your environment, because this is the type of time right now and one dynamic where you could be prone to certain accidents happening to you, where it could kind of like hurt you physically in one aspect, you know what I'm saying? But you'll be fine though, but it's just like a test almost, you see what I'm saying? So you're gonna really get tested a lot in that aspect. And another aspect as an Aries born the 7th, 
you may see that you um, might get tested with the lust. You see what I'm saying? So like if you're like in a faithful relationship at the moment right now, certain people may come back from your past, you know what I'm saying? Kind of testing that energy. So that's just something to be mindful of as the Aries born on the seven that and be mindful, like watching your environments if you're driving, you know, who you get in the car if, if you know like you're a friend that's a wild driver, kind of avoid them a little bit more this year, you see what I'm saying? Or you see what I'm saying? Like take or you be in control of the wheel. But just be mindful of that. Um, with that being said, I'm going to leave it there for now, brothers and sisters. Thank you for being with me at the moment on Signs and Numbers. This is Brother Junis, a.k.a. Sag and Blue. I know it's been a minute, but, you know, I actually kind of step back a bit. Usually, like, in my March frequency, I just fall back. But we're back. We're going to continue the series, finish it up. You know, got to hold my word with that one. So do our best out here. All right, brothers and sisters, thank you for being with me at the moment. Like I was saying on Signs and Numbers, your brother Junis, a.k.a. Sag and Blue. Um, make sure to subscribe, like the page, share with others. Do your best out there, be your best out there. But most importantly, let your light shine. Junus.